<laughs> Meanwhile, below decks. Oh, yeah, I'm having fun in games, um, removing these cushion covers. I'm so glad that last when I put them on, I purposely didn't quite put them all the way down like Bavaria does, just so that I've actually got enough room um, behind uh, the staple. Uh, to get my um, screwdriver in but I can tell you now even with that forethought uh, it's still not an easy job well this is the end of the second the first day of the second week and holes are now starting to appear in salty lass um, we did our below seacocks holes some time ago, um, but we've made a decision to do our above water seacocks. So um, they are all progressing and two down, another two to go, but we're getting there and that's the main thing. <sighs> you in a confined space again, Bev? Totally. I'm uh, ticking through holes off. And I've been outside grinding, thus the hat to keep the metal fragments out of my hair as best I can. So uh, I'm in here fiddling with hoses, trying to get them um, off the through holes so I can yank the through holes out. And uh, it's a fun job as always. The look of total concentration. Totally. We've got new seacocks. Um, God knows what they're made of. Uh, the DZ um, BRZ they, bronze, I guess that is BRZ. Um, the valve is a desyncified brass, and the others are bronze. Well, whatever. Anyway, we got these. We were going to use the plastic Marleyon ones, but the they're too close together on our hull and we wouldn't be able to fit the support collars in so we're back to standard ones I'm afraid means in five or ten years we'll have to do this again but it's just a case now of putting them together they came out easily enough and it's just a case of reassembling the new ones so I'm actually using a pipe wrench because it is the end of the day pipe <laughs> why not? and lots and lots, lots of, of PTFE tape you look very goldy on <laughs> Fair enough. Well, um, we've put two through holes in already and I'm really, really pleased with the method that we're using. So what we've done initially is we've constructed them, put not just one layer, we've um, put a couple of layers of PTFE tape around and actually constructed the uh, through hole um, first. Um, We've put, um, what tape is this Bev? Paper tape. We've put paper tape um, around the hole and then what we're doing is um, we're putting the through hole through um, and then I'm putting the nut on and then I'm putting layers of PTFT tape on and then I'm screwing that in. So that the whole thing is constructed before we actually start sealing it. So um, we um, constructed it and then I pushed the um, through hole out so that we can put um, the sealant around here. And then Beverly pushes that in and then I put a little bit of sealant on the inside of the nut. And then I basically back it down and then I'm using, which wrench am I using? This one. Oh, this one. <laughs> Yet another wrench. <laughs> Yet another wrench comes into play um, to screw it all together. But it's working really well and we're happy. <laughs> It's always the way we were filming putting a seacock in for you guys and we done the other one's great and we've completely messed it up.
So how's the great Dylon project of 2021 proceeding? Well, I'm very happy. Um, as I say, I'm using denim, but look at the colour difference. This, this one looked exactly like that one before we started. And it just looks brighter. And it's an easy fix. You know, a couple of... Um, you can varies between five pounds uh, which is the cheapest i found it and seven which is the dearest i found it these cushions are specially commissioned and they're quite complex um even if you were making them you could you 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 wouldn't have this funny bit here it would just be a whole single thing but it just looks so much nicer it's certainly a lot darker yeah it's gonna make the place look better and that's what we want The reason I'm in my life jacket is uh, Beverly and I are finally removing our tow rails and stanchions. So as we remove the, the uh, stanchions, <laughs> our go guardrails go as well. So uh, what I've done at the moment is uh, I've taken this one out and I've reattached the guardrail so we have got something. But I've also got a tether on so that you know i've got as much safety as i can because i'm basically removing the um tow rail now so what problems have we hit with stanchion number one it's always the way but with stanchion number one i have got we have got massive galvanic corrosion now all the other ones the nut has um come out but this one number one it just dropped off basically not, the nut just came off didn't it it just uh, twisted and the nut came off but um the other ones have at least come out so it's always the way that we find that if you're gonna have a problem it's either number one or the last one or the second to last <laughs> but regardless right so i'll drill that out and see what we can do with it so how are we doing Bev? <laughs> i have no idea <laughs> This alloy unit is stuck. It's, it's insulated from this. There shouldn't be corrosion, but I think it's just an extremely tight fit. And we can't get the tow rail off until we get this to bend and twist a bit. And we can't get this to bend and twist because it's attached to the pulpit. We can't get the pulpit to bend and twist because it's attached to the force stay. And it's just domino effect. You've got to do one thing after another. But we think, because we've got this side here sitting up, and I think we can get enough twist if I take the thing out the front. Hopefully it won't fall on the floor. And then this might twist enough to allow us to twist this and then take the tow rail off and twist it the other way. We just don't know. <laughs> well, we've re just removed the um, tow rail and I have to say that was by far and away the worst one for the amount of mastic and sealant that was actually attached to the tow rail. Most of them came off quite quickly, but we took a long time over that one. But it's just a case of using the screwdrivers to apply the deck open and just um, gently does it more than anything else. Anyway, after you've got the tow rails off, it's just a case of prep, prep, prep. And the prep is cleaning the tow rail where as Bev is going to clean the deck and then it's putting the paper tape down. And that's what you've got to do. And then the mastic. And the mastic now. Which is just a marine silicon sealant. That's right. We're not using um, what's Sic the Sikaflex, Sikaflex, Marine Flex, or CT one. Or CT one. You can't use any of those. We're just using. Um... You can use them. Oh yeah, but you can't move the stuff. But you'll never ever get it off again ever. Afterwards, so um, it's best to use the right right product. Um, for cleaning the tow rails, we found um, Stanley Blade and just um, an ordinary scrubber and a bit of bubble works best. And then once you've cleaned it, just wipe it down with the acetone to remove the remaining glue. And wipe Duralac on any corrosion. Any corrosion, put the Duralac on. Um, and that's what we're doing.
So after a heavy rain shower, <laughs> brackets simulated, close brackets. <laughs> Not a single leak and I really um, played the water over every single stanchion. Not a leak. But it's better to find the leaks in here than out, out there. But yeah, happy days. Now all I've got to do is uh, put all the cupboards uh, back together. Except for one that I've got to create for you from scratch. Yeah, just another little job to add to the list. Because somebody chopped it up. She did a bit, but Beverly left me alone for five minutes and I... Wrecker. Destroyed it! But there you go. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing today is putting the cupboards back. Happy days. I see you're not a liaison officer anymore, you're now Adventure Wheels. <laughs> Oh, I'm removing all these uh, rusty nails. Screws. The, screws. Rusty screws at the back of the cabinets. Uh, this is the only place where they've used just ordinary screws rather than um, stainless steel screws. F um, funny little oversight, isn't it? An entire boat in the one place they use mild steel. Yeah, is at the back of the cabinets. But the other thing that I'm going to do is um, I'm just sanding the back of the cabinets because one of the reasons that we, remo we removed the tow rails and all the stanchions is that we were getting damp at the back of the cabinets um, because there was just a drip coming up onto the cabinet and it was just... Um, and it was at its worst under the stanchions. At its worst underneath the stanchions, but... I mean, see, it's not very much, but just in here you can see the mould. Like I say, it's not much, but Beverly and I are the kind of people who try and do these things early rather than leave it until it's a nightmare. Yeah, get it while it's still there in removal rather than after it rots through. Basically, yeah, because now all I've got to do is do a quick sand. And a re-varnish. And a re-varnish, and that'll be me. Good job. <laughs> 